Okay, so just a few words about us. We are uh, Transylvania Quantum. It's a startup working on open source quantum software. We also work on uh, solving chemistry problems using the NIST generation of quantum devices. Uh, as, as an example, one of, one of our project is developing a pro uh, programming language for uh, quantum computing. Uh, today, I'm going to speak about Uranium. Our, Uranium was our first project, and it's an open source platform for um, investigating and researching quantum algorithms. Uh, so, uh, Uranium is not a fully general platform for quantum computation. For example, you cannot create uh, hybrid quantum classical workflows. What Uranium provides is a very easy and effective method to create and simulate quantum circuits. Uh, at its core, it's a, it provides um, it's a platform comprised of a circuit editor and a simulator. The circuit editor is very easy to use, and I hope to convince you today it uh, also can be very productive. In a few minutes, an experienced user can create uh, quite uh, complex quantum circuits. Uh, the simulator was written in Rust. It was compiled WebAssembly and runs uh, extremely fast in your browser. Uh, the output of the simulation is uh, usually the probability distribution, which is can be associated to your circuit. But we also show the, the state vector of the, which corresponds to these circuits for up to a maximum of eight qubit, because anything larger cannot, cannot be properly displayed on a computer screen. Uh, and in general, this is one, this, uh, these are one of the features which I use very often. So you may, may, may or not, may, not, may not be impressed by our, by, 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 uh, our platform. But uh, in general, uh, the circuit editor is very useful only as a scratch pad. So you can easily drop a few gates and uh, observe how, it, how, is, how the output works and uh, understand better uh, a quantum circuit or a, or a series of gates. Uh, so we have a, a, a very large number of gates. We have first uh, one qubit gates starting from the Pauli X, Y, and Z gates. We have um, a rotation, arbitrary rotation ar around the X, Y, and Z, Z axis. Uh, uh, and also we have, uh, uh, we have the, uh, the Pauli, root, Pauli root gates. So this can be uh, specified as uh, Z to the power one over T, where T is a power, it's a floating point number. But they also can be uh, specified in a, in a different format where t is t to the power k, and where k is an integer number. And uh, this kind of uh, parameterization is very often used in circuits like uh, quantum Fourier transform. We also have a general parameterized gates like u1, u2, and u3, which are uh, uh, general uh, gates with one, two, or three parameter. These are uh, 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 defined uh, similar to the, uh, the gates with the same name in, in Kiskit. We have measure gates, which uh, can be uh, uh, used on X, Y, and Z axis. We have a C, C and C dagger gates, which can be used to, uh, to permute the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, we also have a, a, a fairly large number of two qubit gates. We have, uh, of, of course, the swap gate and various derivatives of swap gates. We have uh, icing gates, X, X, Y, Y, and Z, Z. We have uh, cross resonance gates, which are uh, often used in um, on, on uh, superconducting devices to, uh, to create uh, C node gates and similar gates. And uh, there is a, a number of other gates which are um, which uh, which we we decided to 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 include in our editor. In general, if you want to understand what is a gate and uh, how to use it, you can use our help, help facility. You just select one of the gate and uh, press the help button, and there will be a dashboard on uh, the right hand side of the screen where you can see uh, exhaustive information about uh, any gate. If you unselect that gate, uh, you will see some information, uh, general information on how to use the circuit editor. Uh, so, 
in case you are wondering why we have decided to uh, implement so many gates, basically we used as a reference this paper uh, by uh, Gavin Crooks. Uh, it's a very nice paper. It's an exhaustive, exhaustive paper we can, you, where you can find an, a very large number of uh, quantum gates, which are uh, clearly defined and uh, very uh, clearly specified. And we use this paper as a reference to, and we basically, I think we implemented most of the gates in the paper. Uh, you can find the link to the paper on uh, on our uh, help dashboard on the bottom of our, our help dashboard. Uh, we have also also the QFT uh, gates, which are very important for uh, a number of uh, algorithms. Now, if you know how uh, the QFT gates work, you may wonder how we implement those in a in a in a in a in a, in a matter of individual one and two qubit gates. More specifically, you may wonder what is the order of the of the of the gates. So basically, we have we have two options here. Uh, we have uh, the big endian ordering, which is used by most textbooks. Te textbooks, and in my opinion, it's uh, it's it's the most clear. But on the other hand, um, most of the commercial uh, hardware platform, for various reasons, use the little endian ordering. So uh, you can, uh, in our platform, you can switch from big endian and little endian and use uh, either one of those. Uh, there are other controls here which are uh, should be quite obvious to everybody. Uh, one more thing which I want to specify here is the zoom button. So this you can use this one in order to make sure that the uh, editor fits uh, nicely on your display, uh, depending on the particular resolution of your uh, PC or your uh, laptop uh, display. We, you can add any number of controls to a uh, to a gate. Uh, controls can be specific, specified in the zero and one uh, basis. You can also add controls in the plus and uh, minus basis. You can add controls in the plus i and minus i basis. Uh, in order to add a, a control to a gate, you just uh, you can uh, drag a control icon from the top of the left panel and uh, uh, place it near a gate, and the, then you can uh, attach it to any gate. Uh, you can also uh, create cont add control from, from a pop-up dialog, uh, which can be launched by clicking on, uh, on a gate. There is this control, uh, uh, control button. Once you select it, you, you'll, be, uh, you'll, you'll navigate to this, uh, uh, to this uh, uh, dialog. Here you can add any number of controls and um, and of course uh, select uh, uh, the qubit number and uh, the particular control states that you want to select to, to either one of those. Uh, you can also uh, there's a, we have a feature which allows you to group a number of single qubit gates and assign a common control to uh, to, to those. So for example, here we have a implementation of the Steen error correction code. Uh, here, uh, a number of X and Z axes uh, are uh, assigned a, a common control. In this case, there is one control, but you can add as many controls as you, as you want. An uh, important feature of our circuit editor is the ability to compare to, to compose circuits. Uh, simple circuits can be saved in a project and can be reused in a larger circuit. Uh, for example, here, here we show the four qubit adder circuit. We have the sum and carry uh, circuits, which are which are being being reused several places. Uh, a circuit can be reused as, uh, as as it is, or it can be reused in in an inverse fashion. Uh, also, uh, circuit boxes can be assigned uh, any number of controls, and can be raised to any power, uh, any integer power. Be, be it uh, positive or negative. Uh, this kind of circuits are very often uh, used in uh, algorithms like quantum phase estimation or uh, Shor algorithm. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, they, they are, tend to be very useful. Just to show case a bit, a bit more about uh, uh, how this editor works, we show here an implementation of the Grover algorithm. Uh, uh, 
about measure gates, basically you don't necessarily need those. So once you create a circuit, you will uh, will find on, on, on the right hand side uh, the probability distribution for your circuit. And this basically shows uh, the uh, probability distribution associated with the Hilbert space covered by the circuit. Uh, but you can choose to add uh, a number of measure gates. In uh, this case, I added uh, uh, two measure gates to the top qubits, and uh, the uh, probability distribution will show the uh, just uh, probability associated with the subspace of the first two qubits. In general, uh, each uh, measure gates has a, a classic bit, which is assigned to it, which uh, basically signifies where the measurement is made to. So the classical registers where the measurement is made into. In this case, uh, the two classes big bits uh, were assigned to be 0 and 1, which uh, is default behavior because it's the same index, index which, you, which is used by the qubits. Uh, but you can uh, choose to uh, uh, to uh, use a different uh, different different num numbers for this. For instance, here we show uh, the classic bits as two and three, and uh, the probability distribution is mod modified uh, accordingly. Uh, we we have on uh, on the uh, top menu of our web page a link to a series of uh, uh, quantum algorithms that we have implemented. Uh, basically, you could use this link uh, to uh, to draw some inspiration. And uh, but one advice to you, I, if I may, I make I would I could make to you is just don't look into those. Try to to repeat this on your own because well, uh, you may look in a book and you see a, a circuit and you say, okay, I understand how it works. But basically, answer, until you go on your own and try to repeat those the, and create uh, your circuit under your own it's likely you are not going to fully understand how how, it, how an algorithm works uh some other features one can simulate uh, circuits up to 27 qubits in, in a browser one can simulate uh, circuits with up to 32 qubits offline uh, a patent API exists for creating circuits in the code uh, in case you want. So there is a link on our the web page towards, uh, towards, uh, towards an example. Subsequently, this can be imported in your project. Uh, circuits can, can be run on IBM quantum devices uh, uh, directly sent to IBM quantum devices in the cloud. Circuits can be exported to Qiskit and open CASM formats. The editor is very easy, easy to use, so uh, if you want to learn how to use it effectively, you, you can check our introductory video on our uh, web page. And uh, as a comment, I was asked to comment on, on IBM Quantum Composer. So uh, basically, I, my opinion about uh, IBM software is that it's, it's great. We are using Qiskit uh, for, uh, uh, for our study on chemistry. But uh, uh, quite obviously, the IBM quantum computer is, is quite limited. It's true, neither uranium is not much more complex than the uh, IBM quantum computer, but uh, it can help you uh, create uh, significantly easier and larger circuits that you can uh, you would be able to do with uh, IBM quantum computer. Uh, so as a very short uh, demo, uh, here is how I can use the, the circuit editor. First time I, I just need to drag and drop a gate. Uh, then uh, if I press, press the shift button, I can duplicate any gate. If I press the alt, alt button, I can uh, create an array or a vertical uh, array of uh, gates. I can select a, a portion of a circuit. I can copy it, I can paste it. I can, uh, and there is a number of other gestures which have very nice shortcuts and uh, which uh, would make you quite uh, productive. Uh, so if we have questions, in, if, when you, if you want to, uh, to use our platform and have questions, please contact us on Discord or direct, directly. So uh, we want to help you use it. And uh, if you have uh, problems or you have feature requests, let us know. Thank you. Thank you very much, Radu, for introducing this great tool. I, I see also on your website that you're an open community of quantum computing professionals. You also organize events and uh, 
and uranium is is free to use is that right available to everyone uh, uh, yes yes it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, free to use and uh, indeed available available to everyone and, and i see you have a, a slack channel too or is uh, what is the preferred way to get help from the uh, from the uh, the transylvania team discord uh, i think we we you should uh, contact us on, on discord that's uh, that's the better best way for, uh, to talk to us yeah yeah, please, after the talk, uh, share the link to your Discord server also in the chat so everyone can join you there. Okay, sure. Nina asks, uh, great work. Can you explain the main differences between uh, Uranium and IBM Qiskit? Also, there is no classical bit in the circuits. Is there a reason for this? Uh, yes, basically. Um... Yeah, so our, our uh, platform, it's, it's not uh, comprehensive. So there are a number of features that we could uh, add to it, but we, well, for various reasons, we did not add to it. So uh, indeed, uh, uh, a classical bit would be uh, useful for something like implementing uh, teleport uh, protocol. But uh, beyond that, it uh, would, would not be it's particularly useful. So at least uh, from the point of view of uh, our platform, which is we we know it's limited, so it's it's good if we want to when we want to create circuits to simulate to see how uh, uh, quantum algorithm works. But uh, this platform is uh, is not uh, suitable for uh, more general operation like hybrid uh, quantum uh, classical operations or. Uh, or uh, yeah, so things like uh, a teleport protocol, which could be implemented, but it's it's uh, the use case for use for use for this is quite limited. Yeah, Shashi has a, a suggestion on notational programming. He shares an implementation of OCR that converts hand-drawn and images uh, QC to actual circuits will make this platform really awesome. There is a paper by Arajo on this called notational programming. Something to think about for the team. That's With that's the, a good idea, actually. Yeah, indeed. 